Good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning into the show today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to start the show off today by talking about the Monique Burr Foundation. The mission of this organization is to create hope in a child through child abuse prevention and intervention programs. The Monroe County School District recently implemented one of these programs. So joining me today, I have our Chief Assistant State Attorney, Manny Madruga, to talk about the county's involvement and just tell us a little bit more about the organization. Manny, thank you for being with me this morning. You're welcome. Good morning, Jenna. I'm yes, glad uh, to be here. Okay, the Monique Burr Foundation. This sounds like such an outstanding organization, Manny. It really is. It was founded in 1997, uh, named after Monique Burr. She passed away in a tragic car accident and she had always been an advocate of children mm -hmm. and children's causes. Her husband started the foundation and they started off with a curriculum which was a good touch, bad touch curriculum that spread out around Jacksonville and also the Tampa area. Well, they had an initiative to do much more. They wanted to create an anti-bullying curriculum as well as a child abuse and sexual abuse prevention curriculum and they got together with the University of Arizona and this was evidence-based and they created a curriculum that is targeted for children in grades one through five. Mm -hmm. So it was implemented initially in other parts of the state and I think as of last year 20,000 students had been exposed to the curriculum. I came across these folks in Jacksonville and I thought it would be a great program to introduce in our school district and I met with the uh, superintendent Dr. Jera and we brought these folks down and we actually last week did our first training session and this is now implemented in Monroe County. Wow, and how did that first training session go, Manny? It went very well. We were up in Marathon mm -hmm. and all the counselors from all the schools were there, even the high schools, because even though right now it's targeted for kids in grades one through five, they are working on a curriculum for safe dating for our high schools and other types of curriculum. Mm -hmm. There is a, a growing need here in Florida, and these are some of the statistics I really did want to talk about. Every hour, these are, some of these are national and some of these are local, 377 children are abused. The U.S. receives 3.2 million reports of abused or neglected children each year. Every day, 77 million children use the Internet. One out of seven of those children, ages 10 to 17, will be sexually solicited online and the estimated annual cost of child abuse and neglect in 2012 was 124 billion. Florida was ranked fourth in the nation for confirmed cases of maltreatment including physical and sexual abuse, neglect and bullying in 2009. So it's a major problem here in Florida. This is intended to provide education for children early on so that they can identify safe adults that they can approach Mm -hmm. And the curriculum is established through PowerPoints and interaction with the children where it's fun and also educational so that they learn what they need to do in situations where they're confronted with potential abuse. Okay, so you said this just happened in Marathon last week. Yes. You implemented this program. Yes, we had all the counselors there. They were trained on how to actually present it and teach it, mm -hmm. and they were given the materials by the Monique Burr Foundation. They had their licensed trainers come down and engage in the training and it was extremely well received mm -hmm. and I think it has a very bright future in our county. One of the reasons I wanted to come on your show is because parents are going to be given the opportunity to engage their child in this treatment because it has to be consent mm -hmm. on the part of the family. So there's an opt-out if they don't. So uh, your viewers will be receiving information from the school districts if they have children grades one through five mm -hmm. so that they can choose to take advantage of this very beneficial curriculum for their kids. Now why would parents, why would they not want to consent to this? Well part of the curriculum as they go along deals with some uh, very scary issues. Mm -hmm. uh, they talk about pornography, they talk about uh, predators and the internet and the exposure that children have in that regard. Uh, and some families might think that that's a little bit too sensitive and they'd rather do that at home themselves. Okay. Uh, I personally, if I had a child, grades one through five, uh, my daughter's a little older than that, uh, would have my child participate, no right. doubt. Mm -hmm. That's my personal choice. And now, when, how soon does this take effect? I mean, I know this just all happened last week, but when's it going to start happening in the schools? Well, they're focused on FCAT right mm -hmm. now at the school district. And after the FCAT's done before the end of the year, they're going to get these sessions in for these kids, grades one through five. Mm -hmm. And they're going to have their first session. And then every year as they go up, they'll have more and more sessions. 
Okay, now what has the response been like through the schools that have already done this? Manny, do you know? I've seen the uh, material and I've spoken to some folks and they find it to be an excellent curriculum to teach kids these very difficult things. For instance, they provide you materials. Here's a card that a child would get. And what the child is, is told is, find somebody who would be your safe adult. So you would go, the child would go and get this to somebody and say, as part of the Speak Up, Be Safe program, this child has asked to identify a safe adult. He or she could go to when feeling unsafe. You have been chosen as a safe adult by this child. So mm -hmm. you're given this, you take this information, and it gives you some guidance and websites to go to to help you spot abuse and help you assist the child that's already identified you as a protector. So okay. these are, this is a very small example of the many wonderful things that the program provides. It's been extremely well received. Okay, and more information if people want to know, they can go to the website? Correct. Monique Burr Foundation? Dot org. Dot org. Okay, well thank you so much for sharing all it's this with us. It's my pleasure being Manny, here. Sounds like this is a great program that's been implemented into the school district. We're going to be right back after this. We're going to take a quick break, so don't go away.